Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis today. New racket from my friends at our Tango. Stay tuned. Coffee sponsor of today is Chris Haller, H-A-L-L-E-R. Chris writes, I'm from Kezar, Oregon, K-E-I-Z-E-R, Oregon, and I watch your channel regularly. Love your sense of humor and your knowledge of the game. Oh, Chris, thank you so, so much. I definitely appreciate you. As some of you may know, I have a unique sense of humor that you know I didn't think anybody would get, but a lot of you have. So I appreciate that because I thought I was the only guy that was funny. <laughs> if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. You want to hook up the channel? Super thanks is the way. Link is below. All right. Thank you guys so much uh, for the coffee and for laughing at me. I definitely don't mind that. Okay. Just want to give everybody a good laugh and a little bit of knowledge of the game. All right. That's all I'm here for, guys. I don't want to take this thing too seriously. Okay. Appreciate you. Okay. Artengo, new racket, TR990. They've had a racket like this out before, and this is the new version. So, as you can see, the red and the black color scheme stays. A hundred square inch head, 300 grams before strings. It does come like this with the strings when you order it. So let's quickly take a look. Like I said, 300 grams, 100 square inch head, swing weight, inches, what is that? Whatever, 16 by 19, 27 inches long. What is that? Huh? Sweet spot, what? <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> so supposedly that is sweet spot. Okay. That's, they measure sweet spot out. That's a new one. Artengo is the only one that does that. Leave it up to the French. Um, let's look at, wow, a lot of power on their scale. Good amount of spin on their scale. Good amount of precision on their scale. Uh-oh, we're lacking a little maneuverability here. Okay, well. At least they're honest, okay? We're gonna give you a lot of power in this racket. We're gonna give you slight spin, uh, actually a good amount of spin, a good amount of precision, but you may not be able to wield it around. It's like, it's like the croissant is flaky and uh, soft and uh, buttery, but it might be a little heavy <laughs> later. <laughs> it's kind of like that. <laughs> Anyways, forget it. Okay, whatever. whatever. <laughs> you said just sense of humor. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take the placard off. And let me take this plastic off. Grip two is what we requested. So that's on us. Whenever we re ask for a racket or whenever somebody... Um, sends us a demo, we always ask for grip two. Just to be consistent. That way we know the, that it's going to be a grip two no matter what. That's what we ask for. That doesn't mean we always get it. Okay. Whoa, this grip is tacky. So it's an Artengo replacement grip. You see a lot of perforation in the grip itself. It is actually really tacky for being a replacement grip. So that is a true quarter, guys. It's not um, generous. 
it is a true, true quarter. All right, so let's take it over to the Wilson Biardo Tune Pro and check out the real specs with the strings on. Clear. Three eighteen point seven three thirty one on the balance. All right, let's do swing weight now. Three oh seven. Oh, interesting. I mean, with those numbers and the three oh seven at the end. Okay, I get you. I get you. So I feel the weight kind of in this neighborhood, kind of here to about here. So there may be, well, there probably will be a little drag here. If you use a two-handed backhand, you're probably not going to notice it at all. Um, yeah, because because let's take a quick look at these numbers here. That's pretty standard in most 300 grams. That's a smidge on the high side. That's about right. So this tells me that it's kind of mid-racket balance if it's that number and then you got the swing weight being low so it's heavy literally here um, and you can feel that probably got a nice thick beam also i mean it it's, looks and feels like something familiar if you know what i mean <laughs> all right 70 on the ra if I didn't say so already. Uh, so it's gonna be on the firmer side. This feels like a poly string and it feels like a one, two, five. And it feels kind of on the softer side. Hmm. Feels like it's about 50 pounds. All right, let's take it on the court, give it a shot. All right, guys, so we just got off the court on this windy day at Marin Tennis Club with the Artango TR-990 Power Pro. Definitely a lot of power in this Pro. Um, Coach Jared, 
Coach Chris from MTC is joining us today in this review. I'm going to start with you, Coach Jared, since you're holding the mic. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about this racket. Yeah, so the first thing that came into mind was pure drive. Uh, very similar, thick beamed, 100 square inch sized racket. Uh, the biggest difference between this and the pure drive was a much larger sweet spot and probably a wider string bed. Uh, took a little bit of adjustment for me, uh, mostly just because I couldn't keep the ball on the court in the first couple of hits. But as soon as I started getting my shots dialed down and um, started to get some rhythm going, I think it was pretty good, mostly just from the easy power standpoint. Uh, I thought that the control was a little bit difficult at times, but um, definitely getting pulled out wide in the forehand or getting pulled out wide in the backhand was pretty nice on the next shot, just because I had some easy power to kind of help me there. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I'd say it was semi-stiff, like a little bit too stiff for me, a little bit too much pop, but you know, this is probably a good choice for someone that's looking for that easy power. Um, so if you're looking for, for an alternative from the pure drive, this could be your choice. Okay. Coach Chris, you're always looking for power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when it first came to this racket, all I could think about hitting with it was power, power, power. The sweet spot actually is bigger than the pure drive for sure. Um, it is definitely a firm racket. Um, it doesn't have a lot of give, especially on the strokes. I would say that it's probably an ideal racket for like the 3 5, 4 5 um, esque players. Ones with short, compact string, uh, swings, and then you're going to have a lot of nice, easy power from it. Um, not a ton of control, but the power can sometimes make up for that, right? Um, overall, a good swinging racket. So what did you feel, Coach Chris, when you're, you were swinging it? Did you feel that it was too heavy coming through? Because in their diagram, it said high in power for sure, high decent amount of spin for sure. Um, they say that it lacked a little bit in maneuverability. Um, I think that swinging it in a full stroke, you're going to have a harder time, you know, maintaining control. But if you have a nice compact stroke, you're going to have a nice amount of control and an equal amount of power. Okay, cool. So coach Jared, you always swing and you always swing for the fence. Uh, you <laughs> tend to held back a little bit with this racket. Yeah. Uh, and I kept telling you, just let it go. Let it go. Um, I felt like you did better when you let it go. I'd agree on that one. I'd say traditionally I'm more used to the 98 square inch head size rackets now. So those don't give me too much um, free power per se. So that's why I think in the first couple of hits, I was a little bit hesitant to kind of do my full stroke. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like you said, I was doing a lot of half strokes or kind of trying to massage the ball instead of just letting it rip. But um, as soon as I got used to how the racket felt, I definitely let it, let it swing. And once in a while the shots were, were going pretty, pretty hard. Right. But, um, yeah, it's just I don't know if I could take this into a match and have the same confidence to swing like that every single time just because I'd be a little bit, um, you know, hesitant on the power. But, you know, <laughs> you never know with, with adding a different string or totally. tightening up the tension, trying to make it, you know, make some adjustments to make the racket work. It, it potentially could. So, but, totally. yeah, pretty good racket. Yeah, I, I would agree with um, both of them. Uh, easy power, good amount of plow coming through. Um, I felt like the strings could have been a little tighter uh, especially on a windy day like this. Uh, if I was hitting against the wind, definitely it, it works. If I'm if the wind is behind me, it's not going to work. <laughs> Spray central. Spray everybody central. who hit with the wind fenced it <laughs> um, a lot. But if the wind is against you, it's helping you a lot. So I feel like if you're a big swinger like Coach Jared, um, or he was trying to hit like Wawrenka's backhand, we definitely need to uh, tighten up the strings a bit to give us a little more control. This is actually strung for somebody who wants a plush, high spin, soft kind of a player, like medium stroke, like you were saying. But all in all, great update by our Tango. I feel like you guys who are weekend warriors can literally just go out, buy this racket, that's already strong and go out to the court and be successful with it. It's, it's that easy of an answer if you're looking for, um, you know, 100 square inch racket, 10.6 ounce, which is 300 grams. This is 
it. Okay? Guys, um, thank you for joining me today. Coach Jared, where can we find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. All right. Coach Chris from Marin Tennis Club. Where can you they find the club? Marin Tennis Club on YouTube or Instagram. All right. And we'll link those below. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. This episode is sponsored by my friends at Go Sport, the makers of the most premium, durable, and the most organized bags you can get. Introducing their new 2.0 collection. We got the nine pack, my favorite backpack, and introducing a 12 pack. That's gonna be my bag right there. Check it all out and organize your tennis life at gosport.com.